Mr. Grande, you can start. Yeah, well, uh, what was just in general your freshman year? What was that experience like coming in, starting right away? Uh, what was, you know, your general impressions? Um, the experience was great. Um, I learned a lot. I got a lot of experience. Um, I had to grow up really quick. Um, just being out there with my teammates and them helping me along the way, it was a great first year. And I'm looking forward to this, no, next, uh, this year coming up. Tony, you're next. Well, what kind of clicked in the, I guess, mid to late part of the season when you really got on a run and, and started getting to the quarterback? I think you had like four or five straight games with the sack. Oh, I would most definitely say my confidence. My confidence clicked for me. Me being confident in myself, knowing I, know, I always knew my job, but I was always, always trying to play it safe a little bit. And I think when I just took the game for what it was and grew into myself and say, okay, this is your job. Now let's play football. Let's be Will Anderson. And my confidence grew, and I think that's what helped me midway through the end of the season. Charlie, you're next. Hey, Will. Yeah, just um, what do you want to work on this offseason? Obviously, everybody's asked about your freshman year, but what do you want to improve from year one to year two? Uh, just being a leader, uh, stepping up, being more vocal. I kind of lead to my actions sometimes, but being a leader is one thing I want to step up this year, uh, talking on the defense with the other guys and just getting better with my teammates and as a position group. Steven, go ahead. Will, how did a guy like Chris Allen help you last year? You, know, you coming in as a freshman, Chris Allen, kind of an older guy. So having him back healthy, in what ways did he help you? Oh, Chris Allen helped me a lot. It was numerous times. He stayed after practice with me, working on different type of moves, going over the playbook with me, making sure I understood, make, uh, really communicated with me a lot. I know communication is like a big thing in football. He communicated with me a lot because sometimes I would go out there and freeze and he'd just be like, Calm down, relax. I got you. I'm here for you. So he really took me under his wing and really helped me this whole season. And uh, he showed me a lot. So I appreciate him a lot. Casa Grande, you're next. Uh, yeah, you you got the nickname the Terminator. Kind of became a fan favorite. Uh, what, what do you think about that nickname? And and the what you hear from people out there about your season? I'm kind of ashamed because I never even watched the movie The Terminator. <laughs> But uh, I like the name. It's a good name. I, I guess when I looked it up and people were telling me what the, the meaning was, I said, okay, it can stay. But uh, it's it's great. I like it. And what was the second part of your question? I'm sorry. Just how did you feel about the, the way that the fans seem to really embrace you right away as, as being one of those true freshmen who came in from that first game and, and really progressed? Oh, it was a great feeling. I mean, I still have more work to do. And it's, it was that was last year. We got to move on to this year. Thank you. Charlie Potter, go ahead. Yeah, well, last year, obviously, the, the spring was cut short. It didn't happen. So what's it just like for you going through your first few spring practices, and, and how much do you see them kind of benefiting you? Oh, it's benefiting me a lot. I'm actually getting to slow things down this year and actually understand why I'm doing this, what is my job, why certain things happen in defense. And I'm actually learning the whole defense, like just not my job, but other people's job, where people rolling down to, where do I have to fit? So I'm actually learning the whole defense. And I think this is a better experience and a great experience for me this year as I do this spring. Tony, you're next. Well, you kind of talked about it with the nickname and just coming in. What is it like coming in and having kind of that hype around you when you're first coming into college and, and, those expectations, but also that kind of hype building around you. I ignore it. I ignore it all. That I'm not that type of person. Um, I just try to keep my head down. And I think it all starts with the type of mentality you have. Um, I really just want to come in here and work and just be humble and just when the opportunity arrives, just take it and go for it. But I really just try to block all that out. Steven, go ahead. Will, you, I, I know you're on defense, Will, but offensively, where are you starting to see Paul Tyson grow as a quarterback? Uh, I'm sorry, that's not a question for me. That's a question for the coach. <laughs> AP Stedham, you're next. Hey, Will, uh, uh, Will, who's caught your eye on defense? You know, some player that made a few plays here and there. Um, I can most definitely tell you that. OLB, uh, young person, you know, I think football is very important to him. He really loves football. He works, he grinds in silence, and he's coming along pretty good. So, myth football means a lot to him. Charlie, you're next. Well, Friday's the, the first scrimmage. I know you went through some scrimmages in the preseason, but just what's the significance of a first spring scrimmage and what do you guys want to accomplish? We just 
we just want to accomplish you know, what this team is going to be like this year. You know, just going out there, getting better, competing, having fun, playing with your brothers. You know, this I think that's the ultimate goal, having fun with your brothers. So this year, we're just – this scrimmage, we're just going to take it a play at a time and see the de- – look at the little details and see the things we need to work on so we can get ready for the fall. Michael, you're next. Yeah, who's in a better shape? Uh, who's going to be better in that scrimmage, do you think, offense or defense? Who's, who's ahead of who? We're just going to have to see. <laughs> Tony, go ahead. Yeah, Slade, uh, just I wanted to know what you've seen from some of the young guys coming in at, at the wide receiver position. Uh, I think they're all working hard. They're doing a good job uh, trying to learn the offense and the system. Uh, you know, it's a hard system to learn, so it's uh, it's going to take time for them to uh, grow and pro- get through the process. But I think they've uh, done a good job working hard, and I, I see a bright future for them. Charlie, you're next. Hey, Slade. I just want to ask about this weekend. Obviously, it's the first scrimmage. Just how important is that, and what do you guys want to accomplish as a wide receiving core? I think, uh, it's you know, every scrimmage is important. Uh, the first one uh, being, you know, the first time we get to see everybody in real live action. Uh, I think it's going to be good for us as a unit uh, since we, you know, had some guys leave. We got some new guys. Um, I think just going out there, performing to our best ability, uh, just making ourselves better and the defense better, you know, just coming, you know, making the team better is kind of the ultimate goal right now for spring. And, uh, you know, it's uh, I'm excited and I think we're all excited to kind of actually play like sim- simulation of a game. So uh, I'm, I think we're, we're ready. Mike Rodak, go ahead. Yeah, Slade, I know it's kind of a, a running thing uh, comparing you to, to Julian Edelman, but have you had any discussions with Bill O'Brien about how he used Edelman or, or Wes Welker uh, back in New England? Yeah, we, uh, you know, before we got into uh, offseason, you know, go, getting him situated with the playbook, um, yeah, he, he mentioned some things like that, you know, him working with those guys back in New England. And, you know, he does see a little of those skill sets with me. And uh, so there are some – uh, attributes that he can put in the uh, offense and, you know, hopefully help me with my skill set, be able to get open, different routes and stuff like that. Michael Casagrande, you're next. Uh, yes, Lady, just with the new coordinator, uh, new quarterbacks, is there any different feel to this offense, uh, you know, a couple weeks into spring spring practice? Oh, could, you, could you repeat that again, please? I'm sorry. Yeah, the new new coordinator and a lot of new coaches in this offense, new quarterbacks. Is there any any you know what, what feels different about this offense uh, so far this spring? Uh, I don't. Since it's the same system that we've been running, um, which is it's been harder for the newer coaches to come in and learn it. It's been easier for guys like me. Uh, it's been nice, but um, there's not much of a difference. I think we also have the same mindset uh, when it comes to this offense. Um, you know, there's obviously going to be a little different coaching styles from the new coaches. But, you know, I, with Coach Wiggins, you know, being here for his third year, there's not much when it comes to the receiver side of it. But uh, I think everything's pretty much the same. Uh, Bill's a little different from Sarkeesian, but, you know, they're both, uh, both are great coaches, and I think we're going to be just fine. Charlie, you're next. Kind of going off what Michael just asked about, you obviously have new quarterbacks. Just what has it been like trying to establish chemistry with them, and what have you seen from those three guys so far? I think all three are – they come they come every day. They're ready to work. You know, they are, uh, they're they're trying to find the, you know, nicks and kinks in the offense and trying to help themselves, you know, become better. I think they've all progressed uh, even from last year, and uh, Jamil has done a good job as well. I think they've all – are. Uh, working pushing each other and becoming the best they can be. And, you know, I'm excited. I think we have a lot of good options and, you know, that's a, a an answer that I, I can't, a, an answer that I can't say, but uh, I think they're all doing a very good job. Steven, you're next. Slade, I know uh, Xavier Williams was a guy that came in with you in that 2018 class just, what have you seen, you know, Xavier grow the most at receiver? Oh, uh, you know, you know, we call him Ziggy. Uh, Ziggy came in my class. He's uh, he's worked hard. He's done everything right this past couple of years, and he's just continued to uh, to progress. And I'm I'm excited for him. I'm uh, I'm happy for him. He's waited his turn. You know, kind of similar to me, how I had to wait my turn, and uh, he's shown he's done some very good things this spring. And uh, I'm excited for him, and I hope 
everything works out for him in his, his favor. Tony, you're next. Slade, when you were coming in as a freshman, how long did it take you to kind of get comfortable with the offense and, and really feel like you're you know, comfortable with everything? Well, to be honest, we kind of, it didn't really help me when I first came in my first spring. I don't know if, I mean, I'm sure you guys may know, but not many people know is I, you know, I came in early and I started off at uh, safety because we didn't have, we had lost a lot of safeties that year. And I kind of came in as an athlete technically. So coach was like, well, we need a safety. And, you know, me as a freshman or not even a freshman yet, I was like, I'll, I'll do whatever it's <laughs> like, I'll do whatever coach asked. So, um, so when I got – when I asked Coach to go back on offense before um, my first um, fall camp, it took me a little while, you know, because it was, it was tough. It was fast because you had to learn it so fast. And I only had time was the summer and in fall camp. And then after that, I was more on scout team. So it kept me, kept, me away to, kept me away from learning the offense every day and, you know, obviously getting the reps. But, um, you know, it takes time. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's a difficult offense just like – any other any other offensive uh, program, and um, you know it, it took a little while, but it's once you get it down, it's it's uh, fairly easy. All right, are there any other questions for Slade? All right, thank you, Slade.